Yeah. Oh, is it rolling? Is it rolling? JPC are well known for being part of the drift scene. Pretty easy when the godfather of drift is the shop manager. But with the start of the 2011 Track Battle Australian Time Attack Series, one of the JPC Drift Class sponsors, Spinnaker's Cafe, decided to get the boys to put together a dedicated Time Attack car. Owner Mel McGrath already had a few other Nissans, so an S15 was given the nod and the build began. G'day fellas, Denzo here. Uh, yeah, you're back at Japanese Performance Center, WA, and this is our Time Attack car, S15 track battle car. As you can see behind me, we love our S15s, and we thought we'd uh, have a car in the drift and in the Time Attack, one in each, you know, you do the whole series. So this car we, uh, we imported from Japan and uh, had an SR20 in it, and Probably a lot of you out there know that they're junk, so we pulled that out straight away and we had to go RV because RV's a killer. So it's got a full RB25 built engine, stroker engine, all GDR crank and rods, forgies. Uh, we run dry sumps on them, just superior protection for any of the cornering. Um, E85, 35R, all the goodness, you know, to make one of these things reliable. It's not so hard, can be expensive, but once you get them right, they're killer. This car here, it sort of started off as, as being another drift car. We are going to run two drift cars, but we thought, you know, let's make a time attack car and showcase what we do here. So let's take a closer look at one of the toughest S15s in the land. A built RB25 that is now 2.6 litres, thanks to a GTR crank, spins a GT35 turbo that hangs off a six boost manifold with a turbo smart external gate. Greddy intercooler and plenum along with CH45 throttle body and a 3 inch exhaust means the engine can breathe easy while the custom dry sump setup keeps the engine reliable. There's no junk in this trunk, dry sump tank, surge tank and Bosch 044 fuel pumps. They flow through Teflon lines to the HKS fuel rail which houses Bosch 1600cc injectors which provide the engine with the nectar of the gods, E85. The support gear comprises of a Koyo radiator, oil cooler, split fire coil packs and a Vipec ECU. The car makes an easy 490 horsepower at the hubs on a bar of boost and nearly 550 on 1.2 bar. An ATS twin carbon clutch sends the power through the 25 box down to the GTR rear end with a Nismo LSD. With plenty of power and rear wheel drive, the car is very entertaining to watch indeed. Some of the JPC drifting DNA is certainly in there. Was one thing, but we decided to put R35 GDR brakes on it. Um, wasn't so easy to get the brakes, but we did find some and bought the dog bones from Japan, had some bits made, and yeah, they're on there, they work awesome. Um, GDR rear end in it, and I mean, fairly light, pulled a lot of the wiring out and just made it fairly simple and, and usable. So, look, it's not. It's not savagely mental, but it's a fast car and we're pretty happy with the performance of it. Um, yeah, body kit wise, a full origin kit, wide body, wing, everything's origin, all, all made in Japan, not, you know. Victoria was the first time we had the car out, it was reliable, it was, it was really good, he had a really good run. I mean, the guy driving it, he hasn't had a whole lot of experience, but finished up about fifth in his class, so. We're pretty happy about that. I mean, no problems really. Uh, the only problem we did have was the 
back of the car caught on fire. So the massive flame shooting out the back and the breather for the uh, dry sump, bit of E85 was coming out the back, caught on fire, burnt the back end. Other than that, mechanically it was good. Queensland, he didn't really get too many laps in before the engine let go. So, I mean, it was standard junk really, you know. It wasn't great for that to happen, but, you know, motor racing really in it, so that gave us a chance to put this new engine in. Being a Japanese performance car wrecker means that JPC generally has a lot of spare parts goodies in the shop, which were raided to build this car. This included the reed coilovers and an array of adjustable arms under the car. A wrecked R35 GTR was also raided for its monster brakes. They certainly fill up the 18-inch TE37 wheels, which are wrapped in 265 front and 295 rear semi slicks The exterior is all origin goodness thanks to Savannah Motorsport in South Australia, with full body kit, wide body guards and rear wing. Gas 78 Industries put down the custom mix Bayside Blue paint, finishing off the look. Inside it's business as usual, bolt-in cage, Recaro bucket seats, harnesses, all the usual. your lips S15 There you go